Hello and welcome to Bar. This is a mixture of ballet, Pilates and other fitness elements and it's going to work best today if you are in socks or in bare feet. And today alongside whatever you are using for a bar, so back of a chair, edge of the table, the wall, alongside that we will also be using one small hand weight for a couple of exercises. It does not have to be an official hand weight, so it can be a tin from your kitchen cupboard and preferably not heavy. It's just a light hand weight to add a little bit of resistance. Uh, but popping that to one side, moving away from your bar to begin, we'll just start with a little bit of space around us. Uh, in a warm-up exercise, it's just going to move through different parts of the body, uh, and it's just one that you can follow along with me as we go. So, making sure you've got space around you, let's give it a go. Placing the feet underneath the sit bones, take a big reach upwards through the arms, lengthening the spine. Take a nice deep breath in, a little wiggle around up there maybe, and then pressing the air away from you. We're going to take a little march through the feet. So really a little small pad, but that's a marching action, alternating feet. At the same time, we're going to roll the elbows back. So we're going to draw the elbows up and over. Big circle, trying to pass the ears as you go. We'll take, keep the feet going, we'll take the elbows back the other way. So we're just padding through the foot, trying to come to a full extension. Back again with the elbows, maybe taking the knees a little higher if it's comfy. One more circle this way, four more circles back the other way. Reaching up through the tops of the ears. One more time, drop the feet down, take the hands back up again. Press the air away, step the feet out to a little wider, a bit of a wide second position. We're going to take a little sway side to side. So first of all, just with slightly bent knees, Allowing the body to rotate. If that's comfy, maybe a little swoosh from foot to foot. It's quite swift. And we're going to start to take the arms higher. If it needs to slow down, that's fine. If you're happy on the speed of the music, taking the arm all the way up and over. So more of a side bend now. Wafting through the air. We're going to start to make that more of a slice across again. Bringing that down again maybe to a round level with the waist, closing it in towards you, slowing that down, we'll take a little look up to the sky, a little look down to our feet, and again, looking up. One more time down, coming back to the centre, looking side to side, and again, going at your own pace, at this point, if that's following the music, that's great, if it needs to be a little slow, that's fine too. Let's take a little roll down. So we're going to drop the gaze, drop the chin slightly, start curving the spine. Do bend the knees at this point. Allow them to release. Have a little hang over two feet, maybe a little sway. A little bit of wiggle out through the spine, a little wiggle out through the hips. If we can, coming all the way down to the floor. Taking a little cat stretch, rounding the back up, allowing the head to drop down. And then lengthening head and tailbone apart, nice and long spine in between. Two more times, round them up and over, press the floor away, and then draw the shoulder blade slightly in and down as we lengthen the spine forwards, mostly in the upper back, that one. At this point of the workout, we're really thinking about our upper back extension. We're going to tuck the toes under. If it's comfy to come to a downward dog, pass through that, either with bent legs or with straight legs, otherwise coming straight back over the feet, have a little hang here. And when you are ready, we're going to walk the hands back to the feet to so roll through the spine. And one more time again, take a bend in the knees, a reach up for the ceiling. Maybe a little extra press, circling the wrists as we're bringing the arms back down. And we're going to be moving ourselves to our bar. So coming to your bar, or bringing your bar to you. Don't need the weight just yet, we're going to be taking a little plie exercise to start. Today's plies will start from a second position, but we'll do a little bit of movement to find our rotating muscles. So taking the feet just to a really comfortable second, thinking the heels maybe just outside of the hip bones, not too wide, and that rotation is coming from the top of the leg. And we'll actually do a little bit of shifting in and out of that rotated position. So just shifting through the heels, at the same time thinking of stacking the chest over the pelvis and the head over the chest. Lifting through the tops of the ears, up towards the sky, nice and long, level with the gaze, level with the jaw. We're going to leave the heels in a rotating position, we'll take a little bend and stretch. So as we are bending, we're thinking knees tracking out over the centre of the foot. And we're deepening the breathing into the 
the backs of the lungs. And exhaling away through the mouth. Blow the way through a little pulse lip to help activate our TBA muscle, that core suit of muscle wrapping in around the waist, helping us to stay stabilized in the spine as we're adding this movement. We're going to add a little more movement, we're going to add a rotation. We're going to turn to one leg, come back, and repeat. So we'll bend, turn to one leg, come back, and stretch. So as I rotate, I allow the back heel to come off, just so it's a little easier to find that semi-lunge position. Let's go for one more on either side. We're going to add on again. And if you want, you can leave two hands on the bar. If it's more comfortable, you can take one away. So we're going to come down, down, rotate. We're going to lift the ankle today. Come back, return, and stretch. So you've got bend, turn, come to that ankle. So we're shifting the weight all the way forwards onto that front leg. It should feel like you could take the hand off the bar if you wanted to. You don't have to. But it does mean that you've got to shift everything over that supporting leg. We're going to add on again. Let's do one more of those to either side. And then we're going to add on one more thing again, which is going to be a rotation on our supporting leg. So I'll slow this one down a little bit. You've got, you've got bend as before, so turn and come up. Then we're going to rotate on that leg, only as far as our turn out allows us to go. My pelvis is now going to get all the way back to the bar. I don't have flat turn out. So this is as far as it's going to go. It's going to come back again to where we were, parallel, down, return, and stretch. So you've got bend the knees and turn to the ankle. Rotate, come back. So it's both a rotation in the lifted leg and in the leg that you're standing on. This one's nice and obvious, but there is also glute squeeze on that one as well. Come back to the center. Let's go two more times, either side, here we go. Bend, two, turn, two, lift. Both legs turning out, both legs parallel, three, turn, to the center, come back, two, uh, one more, either side, and up. Rotate, come back, go down, return. Last one, we've got a bend, a turn. Lifting up, staying on that supporting leg, coming back, return. Let's just take a nice slow plie, slowly down, feeling the knees, tracking out down the centre of the foot, slowly up, inside thighs, aiming up towards each other. Two more of those, really slow, and lengthen the way. Let's go one more, last one, smoothly down. And as we raise back up again, we're going to toe heel the feet back into the centre, we're going to toe heel them into a little first position. We're going to take a rond de jambe exercise. Back slightly. Uh, now, because I'm using a chair and I want to take my leg forward and around, I'm actually standing quite far away from my chair. You might be doing the same thing uh, so that I don't get my foot stuck and hit the chair leg. Um, if you've got a freestanding bar, you won't have that problem. Or if you've got a wall mounted bar, you'll be fine. If you're on the wall, uh, you also might need to stand just a little further back than we usually would, just to allow the room for the feet. A little round of jump exercise. It's nice and simple. It's going to come forward with a flex and a point. We're going to round the jump. Round of the leg on the ground. Round the jump like Circle it around to the side of you. Little flex and point again. Circle it around to behind the shoulder. Try and maintain the turnout using the glute muscles and the muscles in the pelvis to keep that leg rotated. Flex and point. It closes. Then you've got one V shape. Forwards, side, back, close. And a bend and a stretch. This exercise cross phrases the music. So it might sound and fit together a little strangely until we get to the end of one full side. Are we going to do it all on one side? All on the second side. Then we'll do it again on the first side, starting from the back. So that big point, flex point, round the leg. Flex point, round the leg. Flex point to close. So we've got one V-shape, rotating all the way, and then a little bend and stretch on the end. It will come together with the music by the end of that minute, but it might feel a little odd on the way in. So let's give this a go. So stepping up to your bar, have a little bit more space between you than usual. Try and just press the fingertips down. We're lifting through the top of the head, we're wide through the collarbones, making sure that we're not pitching either way through the pelvis. So really stacked over those turned out legs, maintaining turnout. Here we go, we've got to the front, to the point, and the flex, to the side, to the flex, and the point, to the back, 
One more. Third point. Close the feet. Take it forwards. Inside. Take it back. Close it in. A little plie. And so it fits. We've got front. Try and keep it right in front of the shoulder socket. Staying lifted on that supporting side. Take it to the back. Try not to tilt through the pelvis. Maintain and turn out. Again, it's front. It's side. It's back. We close. We plie. The whole thing's starting to relax. Try not to lean into your bar. Try and stay lifted up, making space between your body and your thigh. Close to the middle. Take it back. Take it side. Take it front to the close. Even turn out on two feet. Find time. Take it back. Reach the heel away. Finding length down the back of the leg. Heel reaching away to the front. Lengthening the legs into that flex. To the close. Final V shape on the floor. Little staggers and close. And a plie and stretch. Plie. Take your feet back into a parallel. Turn it into a little bit more of a squat action. So we are allowing the body now to pitch forward like the shins. Press the floor away. Just take a couple of those, allowing that parallel alignment through the legs and lengthening up, refinding our stacked neutral spine. One more time, drop it down and press away. When we come into a little exercise for our body, we'll start with just body movements on their own and we're going to add in a little bit of movement through the legs as well. And we'll start this one today again in a first position. So still rotating through the legs, drawing up through the thighs, through the kneecaps, grounding all the toes into the floor. And we can step a little closer to our bar again. I'm going to take this into some movement through the arm. So I'm going to reach the arm away. I'm going to take it up and over to the side. I'm going to reach it back up to the ceiling. And I'm going to take it all the way around the place on the bar. So it comes to the side of the room. Take it up and over into a side bend. Take it back up to the sky, length on both sides. Circle it around, back to your bar. Two more either side, reaching out. I want to feel two feet pressing into the floor. And I'm trying to keep my pelvis stacked over my legs. So it's not the same as when we lean the pelvis the opposite way. We're trying to stay grounded and we are lifting up and over. So you might feel heavier on one foot than you do on the other, but they're both staying planted on the floor. One more time, either side. Is your turnout still maintained? Are you still lifting through the thighs, through the kneecaps? Is your TDA still wrapping? Circle it around. Replace the hand last one on this side, just like this. To the side. Take it up and over. Take it up, 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 up. Take it around. We're going to add in a little roll of the body. So a little bend of the legs as we go with this one. We're coming over to the side. We're bending as we replace the hand. We're curving to the other side and we're taking that away to begin again. So you've got straight into your side bend. Curve it around to come forwards in a curve. Curve it around to come to the side in a side bend. Up and over. Once more like that to either side. Up and over. Take it round to the bar. Two hands down. Take it round to the side, reaching up, up, up to come back. Last time this way, in this fashion. Little curve around, allowing that head and neck to be part of that curve. We're going to add in a foot with that as we go. So the opposite way to the side that you bend is the foot that Tom used. We take a plie in second. Take the Tom on the other side. Close it up and around. Back we go. So as we slide them, Time to do the opposite way. Brush into your curtain as you go. Take it up and around. Close it back one more time each side. Here we go. We've got up and over. Curve it into the bar. Two feet dropping down. Curve it up and away. Lift on that side. Coming back to the centre. Final time. We've got side bend. Drop it down. Rounded spine. To the side. Up and over. Lifting away. Good. Hopefully we're feeling like we've moved our body. Our body can always be quite static when we're doing our PA exercises. We're focusing very much on finding that neutral spine, that engagement, that stability for the core. And then as we move on, a little bit more movement through the spine. So that we are ready to add in one hand weight. I'm going to move this away slightly. So I'm just bringing in my one hand weight. Let's move this back a little bit. And we're going to take the mermaid exercise, which I think we did last week or the week before. 
very recently, uh, we're going to take ourselves into a second position. You'll notice my second is quite wide. It's going to be a lungy second. We're going to be lunging into one leg. At the same time, with our one hand weight, we're going to be taking that arm to the sky. So we're in our lunge. We're going to be taking that arm to the sky. We're going to be taking it over into a side bend here. It's going to come back and it's going to open away. We're going to do five on one side and five on the other. You do not have to use the hand weight if you would rather not. You can do it without, that's absolutely fine. You're still gonna feel it in the sides of the body and your obliques stabilizing you, returning you, creating that curve. But if you are using weight, you'll feel more shoulder stability, muscles around the shoulder socket stabilizing to hold against this extra resistance. So finding your second in parallel, take your lunge, take your arm out to the side, and wherever you like. So we've got arm raising up. We've got curving into our side bend. We've got arm raising up, length on two sides. We've got taking the arm away. We can take a little quicker. We've got up and over, return, reach away. Three more, it's raise. Try and find place to breathe. You'll hear me breathing quite strangely because I'm talking, but at the same time, I am allowing the air in the lungs. You need to do the same. Find places to draw the air in. Exhale it away. Take it away. Pass it across. Come through the centre. Try and stay in that lunge. So we'll do as we did before. One nice and slow to begin. Reaching up and over with the side of the body. Coming back up to a stepped position. Length on two sides. Open the arm away. A little faster. Here we go. Up. Take it over. Take it up. Three more to go. Equal lift through both ears as you return. Breathing into the sides and back of the lungs. Make sure that arm opens all the way, nice and proud through the collarbone. Final one. Open. Return. Take it back into the centre. Close the feet in. Let's take a little rotation. So feet just in line with the hips, the outside of the hips is fine. Weight a little placed away from the chest. We're going to take a smooth rotation and a smooth return. So I'm thinking about standing and leading and the weight and the chin going in line with that and trying to minimise movement through the pelvis, definitely minimise movement through the knees or the ankles. And that might mean that you don't go very far. Mine certainly does not. I've got quite limited rotation in my spine, but I am working to the extent that I can manage safely. I'm testing myself every time just to see how far it's comfortable to go. Breathing as you go. Try and exhale. Inhale to return. Exhale to turn. We'll do two more to either side. Last one. Wrap the glutes around that neutral pelvis, helping you to stay upright. Return. Take it away. Place that weight down. Take a little bend. Reach the arms up for the ceiling. Little circle through the wrist. Maybe a little curve down of the spine if you wanted to. Little release. If you can hang with the hands to the floor, that's great. If you can hang with the hands to the thighs, that's great. We'll take a little swimming rotation up and over. If that's really not comfortable, we could always do this from, as well, a quadruped position. Just reaching up and away and coming back. Or from two feet, hands on the floor. Curving the arm around. And coming back to on the other side. So opening into that rotation, coming back around one more time, either side, just stretching out from that previous exercise. We're going to be picking up our weight again. And now we're going to be using it as a little bit of extra resistance for some squats. So coming into again that place where the feet are to the outside of the hips, just holding the weight however is comfortable in front of you. This way, this way, no weight, that's also an option as well. And again, just a little way away from the chest, giving you a little bit of space. So we've got a little squat down and up, a little squat and up. I'm thinking about my sit bones dropping, I'm thinking about my gaze dropping slightly as well, because the spine slightly pitches forwards. Not so much. I'm still thinking of that length of the top of my head, maybe up to the opposite corner of the room, opposite corner of the ceiling. Two more. And then this last one, we're going to stay down here. We're going to take a little walk, two steps to either side. 
You can also do this with a band around the legs. We occasionally do that. Not the band for today. If you haven't prepped it, don't worry about it. I'm not using the band. I'm going with the weight. Now making sure, if I do it this way, that the spine is staying long. Don't start to duck the tail. Really think about that length all the way down. Neutral. Think about the glutes wrapping around the leg, around the pelvis, keeping you nice and even as you're moving. We're going to add in another knee again. We're going to add in some taps through the foot. So we've done two walks out. We're going to tap, tap to a close. Open close, open close, away, tap, away, close. So we're closing the leg all the way in today. We're not worried about the band falling off. So we're coming all the way in, two reaches away with a little tap in between. Let's go two more to either side. Woo, I got lost. Hey. And back again, staying low in the legs. Stay wide in the breath. One more either side. TVA wrapping in, so lower abdominals wrapping back towards the spine. Last one this way. Away, tap. Come back into the center. Take a little length for a second. Maybe a little shake now. Finishing off with some curtsy squats. We're going to do two different versions of this. The first one is going to be parallel. So weight back where it was. We can always get rid of the weight of the hands onto the hips. Absolutely fine as well. So here we go, with the weight in front of the chest, all the way away, coming back into our squat position. We're going to take some little curtsy squats. I'm going to take one leg behind and return, trying to stay nice and low. I'm aiming for two parallel legs, and there's a fair bit of weight prepping on that back foot, making sure I'm still even. There's still quite a lot on this front leg. Most of it is on the front leg, but the back leg is definitely in use, helping you to stay upright. I'm thinking about trying to keep my pelvis level, so I don't want to sink into the side. I want to keep it level if I can. We're going to do two more to either side after this one. Here we go. TVA wrapping, parallel legs. Stay low. Last one either way. Final time. Coming back. Lengthen the legs. Maybe lengthen the arms for a second. We're going to take one more version, a little different now, more of a ballet than the curtsy. So rotating in the leg as far as your comfortable turnout, drawing up through the thumb. We're going to keep the turnout, we're just going to prop the leg behind and come back. We might not want to use the weight, we might be happy with it back where it was. So it's a little prop and down. So it becomes more of a funky action, a bend on one leg. The other one just touching in the part behind you. I'm actually staying upright through the body. So it's not really a squat action anymore at all. It's much more that plie, that fondue on that one leg. We're gonna go for two more either side after this one. Here we go. It's one. I'll take my weight a little higher and drop it down in front of the chest. Final time, maintaining that even turn up. Pressing down through the toes, we turn. Get rid of the weight. Good stuff. And I don't think we need it. No, we will take it away. We'll take it away and we'll return ourselves to our bar for a moment. We'll take a little rise and lower exercise. So this one we have down the full. We take a bend and a stretch and a rise and a lower three times. And then today, after the third one, we're gonna stay up. We're just gonna see if we can test our balance, maybe taking our hands away from the bar, maybe taking a full pull the bar away from the bar. Uh, the pattern of the feet goes. We do the whole exercise in parallel. We do the whole exercise rotated into first. We repeat rotated into a parallel first. We repeat in a turned out second. We repeat in a parallel second. We repeat shifting over. Let's take it in parallel today on one foot and let's take it in parallel on the other foot. We might do it twice today. So we've got feet completely together to begin and we're lengthening through the spine. So we're taking a little bend and stretch and a little rise and lower. Only bend as far as to keep your head stacked over your chest, over your pelvis. So making sure it doesn't stick out, it's upright. And we're going to hold it there, maybe take a little test of your balance, maybe a little pull de bra. Come back, turn down, it's bend and stretch. Take a little rise and lower. Two more. So it's nice and sedate today, it's often quite a fast exercise this one. A little smoother in the bend and stretch, rise and lower. Means you've got a little more time to try and find that balance. Coming back and shifting the feet. Parallel first. Lifting up. Allow the heels to sink. 
Find that little bit of a stretch down the back of the ankle. You keys as we take that plie. And again, with your rise, doesn't need to be too high, just as high as you can sustain. Come back, turn out, bend and stretch. Wide, easy breathing. Drawing up through the thighs, drawing up the heel towards the calf as high as is comfortable to do. Take that little balance. Replace the hands one more time in a parallel second. Opening and raising up. Still thinking inside thighs, aiming towards each other, even though they're fairly far apart now. Little rise. Take a little test of balance. Oh, we're going to run out of music, so we're actually going to pause it there. We're going to come back to the first one. We'll add the one foot, one foot on after this one. We'll take it a little faster on this second round. So, same, same effect, same exercise again, just a little bit faster. Here we go. On five, six, here we go to bend and stretch, rise and lower. It's a little nippier, shorter balance, but it means you've got to find that balance a little sooner. Then stretch. Are you still long on both sides? Are you still wide and proud through the collarbones? Try and find that balance a little quicker. Rotate into a parallel first. I'm a little far from the bar. I'm just going to move in slightly. Make sure you're not too far away. It wants to be a nice, easy transition from one to the next. We've got one more plie stretch here. Stretch. Again, a little balance. Come back to parallel. Down. And this time we are going to add in one on one side, one on the other, at this slightly faster speed if it's comfortable. If not, you could always slow it down again. Bend and rise. And if you need to shift a little bit so that you're back in line with your bar again, that's fine. See if you can find that balance. Change it over, we've got down and up. If it needs to be slower, absolutely fine. Better to be safe and secure. Ooh, she says, there we go. And releasing through the heel, releasing through the feet, the ankles, shake it off. We're going to take that into a little core exercise down on the floor. We can leave that plane. Shift that over there slightly. Coming down to the floor. So however is a comfortable way to get down. If you can, utilize a little bit of a roll down as you go. That can be with bent knees all the way down into the floor. We're going to take the feet around in front of us. We'll start with a little half roll back. So finding our C-curve spine, our rounded spine, curving all the way out through the top of the head, reaching through the arms. We're going to wrap the glutes, tuck the tailbone, squeeze the abdominals to curl the pubic bone up and in towards you, and then return. Let's exhale as we go back. And you'll notice I'm kind of moving through the music here. I'm just moving with my own breathing. If it's more comfortable for you to move with the music, absolutely fine. But I find on these core exercises, sometimes it's a little easier to create that breath flow if you're moving with your own breath. Now, if that's all feeling comfortable, we could take that a little further. We could take that off of our sit bones. And rather than being in a C curve, that letter C shaped rounded spine, or take it into a J curve. So I'm lifting the top of my head up towards the sky. You'll notice my upper back is still rounded. That's the natural shape of my upper spine. Um, and it's still slightly curved, but it's a much more open curve at the top. And then if we can, we will take the feet off into a little tabletop. It's separated all together, whichever feels more comfortable. We're gonna slightly curl back through the spine into that C, and we're gonna lengthen back up again through the top of the head. Back we go again, exhaling. Inhaling to come back. If it feels good, try it with no hands. You can always pop the legs together for a little more stability there. Returning, two more. If it's feeling too much through the hip flexors, try it with just the tips of the toes down on the floor. Little roll back. And coming up, and release for a moment. We're going to roll it down into the floor. And we're going to try that same action on the other side. So, finding our imprinted spine, little mini contraction between ribs and hips. Finding one, two legs into their tabletop position. It's a movable tabletop, allow it to shift slightly as you roll through. We're going to take the arms up and overhead. One stop on the wall as you do. 
So we've got bringing in the arms, come to the sky, take a little nod of the chin. Now we're trying to roll through the spine. If you need a little bit of help on the backs of the legs again, that's fine. Rolling up, lifting through the top of the head. And then again, we're rolling down and away, but rather than just going a little way, we're controlling all the way into the floor, taking the arms back up and over. You've just got two more. Breathe in, nod, exhale, flex. You can hold the backs of the legs if you need to. Think inside thighs pressing together, finding you into this held position, and then rolling down again. So that little sustained moment in that balance. One more. Use your breath. Exhaling is going to help you curve. Inhaling is going to help you lengthen. And exhaling will roll you down gently into the floor with control. Bring the legs in. Have a little supine shell. Maybe a little rock side to side. Let's drop the feet down. Let's open through the hip flexors with, with a hip roll. Take a breath in. Imprint, little mini contraction again, wrapping the glutes underneath, lengthening the thighs away. So I'm not trying to overlift through the pelvis, I just want a long line from knees to lower ribs. Don't need to go any higher through the hips, it will only impinge into the back. Take a breath here, lengthening the kneecaps away, roll it down. We'll take that one more time, breathe. Exhale, imprint, good squeeze, feet press down evenly into the floor, kneecaps pulling away from lower ribs. Wide breath, taking space. Slowly down, easing one bone at a time through the spine. Roll yourself over to one side to come back up to a quadruped position, tuck the toes at the back. Shift through your pike position, your downward dog, pressing the heels and the hands down. If that needs to be with bent knees still, that's absolutely fine. When you're already stepping the feet in towards the hands, allowing the head to release. Release the hands, drop the pelvis and roll through the spine, lengthening two sides of the body and lengthening front and back surface of the body. Wide and proud through the collarbones. And we are done there for today. Thank you very much.